Welcome to the channel. Master Club Fitter Danny Farrell partnered up with, hey Larry, how are you? I'm good, how are you today? Good, good. We're gonna be kind of leading out with a conversation on differences between fitting juniors and fitting adults. What we see in the bays from day to day. Absolutely. Um, you know, it, as you can tell, the size of the bag's different. <laughs> right. We're gonna pull a few clubs out. We're gonna see the size of the clubs. Yep. Uh, you know, I guess is, is we all kind of grew up in, in me being a little bit older than you are. Sure are, um, yep. Thank you. <laughs> Standard practice back in the day a lot of times was to just take a set of men's golf clubs and cut mm -hmm. them down. Right. Or maybe you grew up playing your mom's golf club. Sure. Okay. okay. Then there were some companies in uh, like Northwestern Golf that used to sell a lot of golf clubs. They had junior sets, mm -hmm. uh, junior starter sets. So, mm -hmm. in my opinion, junior sets have come a long way. Absolutely. Um, yeah. You know, the instruction that juniors get now is better. So, yes. you really need to kind of, when you're fitting a junior, have to kind of decide where they're at with their golf game, mm -hmm. where they are as far as taking lessons or not taking lessons. Yes. And, um, you know, and then, then the factor of the age and, you know, it, it's kind of, we, we've both had people walk in where, you know, you got a 10 or 11 year old kid and, and, you know, he might be standard size for that age and dad's six foot four and we know that, <laughs> you know, in a short period of time, this kid's gonna be a towering giant. Yes, so yes. Uh, there's a lot of factors into fitting a junior than there is versus just, you know, fitting a, fitting a, a man or a woman who are older, right. who, you know, we're not gonna grow anymore. Right, right, I, I, I love that. And, you know, some similarities between juniors and adult fittings is we not only look at where the player is now, but where do they wanna go? Right. How can these clubs help advance them? And that's right. why you talked about junior clubs advancing so much. Let's talk a little bit about tech with kind of the juniors, junior equipment, looking at head size and kind of those variations. I mean, we've got, kind of a tour edge line here, yep. you know, and they have different lengths for different sizes of, of juniors as well. Right. You know, the days of cutting things down for players we see as fitters, that changes the weight, the swing weight, the performance of the club. So that generation of cutting things down to try and make it work probably would, would make a junior player detract or slow that kind of growth down a little bit if we go that route. Well, I've got a, I've got a six iron here. Yeah. Um, why don't you grab it? We got we have Thomas Campbell's bag. Who's the illustrious uh, Thomas Eli Campbell, one of our great fitters and great players. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a total difference to these golf clubs. Absolutely. You know, we're, we're talking about a junior who's just learning the game. Yeah. Tour Edge and in Ping does it, and some of and the other manufacturers yeah. that that you know they're going to make something that's easy to get up in the air. Hundred percent. They're going to make something that's forgiving. Right. You know. To take this set of basically, it's almost a blade type iron, right. cut it down and, and give it to your kid to play, you know, that's, that's probably not the best route. I agree. Rest, because they're not gonna, they're not gonna get the performance that we wanna have. It's not gonna um, be fun. The other thing is, this club is significantly heavier in shaft right. and swing weight yeah. than this golf club. Yep. The last thing you wanna do is, a is, is a parent or as an instructor mm -hmm. have a kid come in with a set of clubs that look like the clubs are swinging him rather exactly. than him swinging the club right um, you know US kids does a great job with, with, with little kids yes, um, yes I know Lynx golf is starting to do more and more with junior which yep. basically is hey let's get them what's appropriate let them learn the game let them learn the basic golf swing and then they can move up yes yes so, absolutely and, you know, so some other similarities between them, you know, we talk about the length of golf clubs, we talk about the weight, but I love that you brought up the fact of the club head size. That's a huge similarity that juniors play as well as, you know, adults can benefit from a bigger style club head too. Right. right? Have more fun playing the, the game itself. Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, as you grab this, I mean, grip size. Yeah, huge. We didn't Jun even touch on that yet. Yeah, I mean, juniors juniors have smaller hands. Right. I, I can't give them Thomas Campbell's grip here because they're going to have struggle releasing their hands through their golf swing. Right. You know, right. so so 
you know, people might look at junior clubs and immediately just say, hey, they're shorter. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, yeah, that is the, that is the observation. But yep. there's a lot more gone into it. There's a lot more thought process mm -hmm. by the manufacturers rather than just their shorter golf clubs. Right. You know, weight, grip size, shaft weight. Yep. There's a lot of things that, go, that really help, you know, your son or daughter become a, a golfer and, and enjoy the game. You know, we all know it's a game you can play your entire life. Absolutely. Um, and those who aspire to be really good players, high school players, college players, and, you know, the, maybe the possibility of going past that. Right. There's so many different options to, to look at it that, that when you come in with your, with, your, with your child and say, hey, you know, Danny, Larry, what, what, this is kind of where we're at. They're yeah. just learning the game. Right. Let's find something that helps them. Or, hey, I've been, he's been playing for five or six years. Mm -hmm. He's taken the next level. He takes lessons every week from an instructor and we need to take the next step up. Yeah. One of the things that I love to do with juniors, if at all possible, especially here in the Minneapolis area, is get a little connection going between the parents, the fitter, and the, and the instructor. instructor. Yes, build that team around that player. Because that mm -hmm. really helps because I like to like to know what they're working on, where they're going, yes. because it certainly helps. Uh, you know, with with my work with uh, players at the University of Minnesota, mm -hmm. um, it, it's good to understand. You have to understand what they're doing because one, you don't want to fight what they're doing, but you also want that when you bring somebody in for a fitting. Mm -hmm. They walk out the door as happy as they can be Absolutely. because we've got it. We've got a we've got a team working on their kids' golf game. They we understand exactly where they want to be, yeah. and we're fitting to the appropriate age level. We're yes. fitting to the appropriate size and speed, and we're fitting to the level of, hey, where do you want your golf game to go? I I love that connection, Larry and. You know, it, a big point for us is when you come in, it's not just one visit and we're done, right? We want to continue to follow that player, grow with that player, and learn those tendencies and help, help them play better and longer. You yeah. know, one of the, the big things I see um, consistency-wise from adults to um, juniors again is Loft is a player's friend. Yes. You know, looking at the, the set makeup alone, Thomas Campbell has 14 clubs in the bag. Right. Junior clubs here, now we only have three, six, seven, eight. Yep. Right? And there's a reason for that because Loft is a friend. We need more Loft to help get the ball up, play better, play longer. And, you know, manufacturers do a great job of working with a player, right? Some sets only have four or five pieces in right. there when they first get started. And as the swing speed develops, then more clubs need to be added to the bag. So it's important to come in and get fit to see how many pieces need to be in that bag for not only juniors, but adults as well. Right, absolutely. I, I, I can't tell you the players that have come in and, and maybe we've, you know, we've, we've fit a ping set, mm -hmm. but hey, it's four or five irons, it's a driver, it's, it's a five wood, yeah. a sand wedge and a putter, yeah. and let's build on that. Yeah. Well, in the advantage of the follow-up, mm -hmm. hey, these are good, we can always add. We can always add clubs after the fact. Yeah, when those gaps kind of develop, right? When they start to Absolutely. show. Absolutely, and then you know, and the big thing is, you know, I, I think one of the biggest questions, two of the biggest questions I get are okay. one, what's the age? Right. I, I think it varies for everybody. Yeah. I think it really does. Yep. I think there might be a kid at seven years old that needs to get fit, huh. and then there's another kid. Maybe you want to wait till you're ten or eleven. Sure. I think, I think that. That has to do with their ability and also their level of commitment to commitment. It's huge. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and the Great other point. thing is, hey, when do I change the length? Yeah. Okay. My my son has grown five inches over the summer. Yep. Is it time to change? Probably pretty good if you're grown five inches over the summer. Right. But but as an instructor, I look at it if if the length of the golf club is affecting their posture and affecting their swing path. Right. It's time to make a change. Yes. And that's yes. where an instructor is going to go, hey, you know what? 
your son or daughter has grown. I'm struggling to get them to do what they need to do. You need to go to see the guys at Second Swing and get a new set of golf clubs. Ab absolutely. You know, like Larry said, we, we want to be a part of that team to help you grow. So guys, if you have questions, you know, about junior stuff, let's talk about lengths of the driver. You know, yeah. different characteristics of that. Well, yeah, I mean, this is significantly lighter than 100%, that. 100%, yeah. You know, and, and that's one of the clubs on the driver's standpoint is, hey, if, if I'm not as strong, if I'm a developing my golf swing, if I'm a junior player, mm -hmm. you know, the driver, all those things show up in the driver because yeah. it's the longest club in the bag, it's the straightest face. Yes. Okay, but this has significantly more loft, as you talked about earlier, yeah. loft is your friend, yes. than Thomas Campbell's driver. Of Thomas, course. by the way, I see he's got a Max LS too. Yep. Yep. You know, he's trying to keep his spin rate down. And we're trying Most to get the ball juniors, up. we're trying to get the ball up <laughs> right. and we're trying to increase their spin rate. Right. Because we want to get the ball in the air. You know, everybody, everybody wants to hit it far. Nowadays, yeah. But you need ball flight. 100%. And, and juniors need to b need ball flight, and that's where we need to create it. So right. um, it, it really matters a lot when it comes to the driver yeah. as far as as far as your junior. And, I mean, even if it's, hey, you know, he's hitting his irons okay, what, mm -hmm. come in and just get a driver fitting for him. Right. I, I had a... Um, a young young kid come in about two weeks ago and right. we we're in this exact situation right. where you know he, the father was wondering about the length of the irons for the player yeah length of the irons were fantastic he couldn't hit them any better right but we know he was going to grow because his dad was six two six three right so we ended up just doing a driver fitting for him because that's what he needed the most at that time was just the driver so you know i i think when we start talking about adults and juniors the foundation of the golf swing you know needs to start on the low side right starting the irons first to work your way up absolutely and you know if you come to our minnetonka store we have a ton of golf clubs oh my gosh okay yes. and they're you know they're ranked from extra stiff yeah. to ladies flex the senior flex whatever right. right one of my great favorite sayings is the golf ball and the golf club don't know who you are. 100% right. They, don't, they yeah. don't know your age, they don't know your gender, they don't know your ability, they just know that yep. you can swing it or not swing it. Yep. So when you come in and you look at golf clubs, I mean, I can't tell you the times that I have fit a junior male player mm -hmm. with a ladies driver. Yes. Well, why is that? Yep. It's shorter, right. it's lighter, it's more flexible, and it's got more loft. Yep. It doesn't matter, you right. know, to say, well, I shouldn't go. That's why getting a fitting matters. 100%. Because you can come in and say, hey, this is the driver that fits you. Right. It doesn't matter because if they were all generic and if we just had numbers on them all and we didn't care what the shaft flex or the look was, right. nobody would ever think it's a men's or a ladies. They would Correct. just, they would just, they'd, they'd all be unisex golf clubs. Yeah. But that's what they basically are. Right. Okay. Right. They're yep. just categorized a little bit easier for 100%. the manufacturers to sell. Right. But yep. we as fitters look at them as we have an entire store to help your kid become the player he wants to become. Ab absolutely. So I think kind of to, to wrap this up, guys, there, we want to be on your team with this 100%, whether it's Larry, whether it's I or the other master fitters here at Second Swing. Guys, come in, join our team. Let us help that, that player grow, not only at a younger age, but adult age as well. So if you like what you kind of heard here, guys, hit that like button, comment, and let us know how your juniors are doing or how you're playing out there on the golf course. Thanks, Larry, for the time. We'll see you next time on the channel, guys.